seven from. Initially it was something like two point one. Two point one initially. Now he is what is telling when this material you know will become two point two at what depth? At what percentage of porosity? So now it is 2.1, but so that is why it is occurring at the top because it has 70% porosity. 70% porosity. Now as it is, as it is buried, you know, the porosity of this unit reduces. So at what level? That from 70% to what extent it should go so that this value, you know, 2.1 value, will become 2.2. Or more, then only this will go up. The salt is now heavier, so it is occurring at the bottom. This is lighter, so this is the normal sequence. Now, if you want to bring salt up, then this material has to become heavy by removal of the porosity. So, that is the assignment I had given to you. So, at what level of porosity from 70 percent to what porosity it should become? So that the density becomes more than 2.1 or 2.2. So then what formula I had given? I'm only able to open the file. You know. I'll just get it from the book. Huh? So that you will not do a mistake. Rho is equal to pi into rho f. Rho f plus 1 minus porosity i into rho s. So this is the equation. Now you have to make this as 2.2. The porosity you have to find out porosity. This fluid density is 1.04 plus this value is 2.7 2.7 So at this so what will be porosity? Porosity can you just find out now? Uh, you have done it in this. So 0 0.3 into this will be 1 minus 0 0.3. So they will become equal, you know, 2. So if it is 30 percent, 30 percent, then this density of this material will become 2.7, <coughs> the density of the plastic rock. Plastic rock means the minerals present in the rock. Mineral See, so these are the suppose sandstone. These are the sandstone. So these are the grains. Huh? So this is the porosity. This part is the pores. Here there is a fluid. Here there is a fluid whose density is 1.04. What is this density? 2.7 ये ये मिनरल है ये जो क्वार्ट्ज है या जो भी है 2.7 है यही ना now whole thing after you have to remove this fluid you know for example you have to remove so that the whole thing becomes 2.2 that is the exercise you know when it is in this stage you know the average density is 2.1 that means this is 2.7 this is 1.04. Together it is making 2.1. Now you have to increase this for uh, this density, you know, to 2.2. Okay, this has to be pressed, you know, and the density has to increase to 2.2. This will become 2.2. So up Yahasa Nikam like the Pani go, this 2.7, you know, will be reduced. Together, together I'm telling. So and it will become 2.2. Is that it is still doubted. Sure. Huh? It's the face clear.
तो आप अप्लाई करो डू दिस असाइनमेंट जस्ट अप्लाई दिस फार्मूला सो दिस इज द पिक्चर यू नो नाउ इन दिस स्पेस द रॉक इज लाइक दिस यू हैव इंडिविजुअल ग्रेन्स इंडिविजुअल ग्रेन्स व्हिच डेंसिटी इज 2.7 एंड द फ्लूइड व्हिच इज एग्जिस्टिंग इनसाइड यू नो दैट इज 1.0 सो यू हैव टू प्रेस इट यू नो इन सच अ मैनर दिस विल बिकम 2.2 It will press in such a manner, it will become 2.2. That is it. So how much it has to press so that the core material will go out? So that is given in this formula. You know. This will become 2.2. This is 2.7. These are the porosity parts, and this is the fluid density, 1.0. So just apply this formula and get it. You have to find out this. This value and what level of porosity? ठीक है तो ये देख सकते हैं। Then what is telling the depth of burial? Depth of burial there is a graph here. There is a graph where the porosity is plotted this side. The porosity is plotted this side here, and this side is depth. Depth of burial. So here. Some here for sandstone, it is like this, you know. For sandstone, I am unable to open that file. You know. Sandstone <coughs> and but the estate that take me. Just a minute. Where is the folder? Uh, desktop folder? Laptop folder? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? This is our file. दिस इज दिस ग्राफ इज इन टेक्निक ऑफ पिटीजन बुक वेरी ओल्ड बुक Graph, you know. So porosity is 30 percent. That is what you have calculated from there. Yes. So this is 30 percent porosity. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Porosity. And this side is depth. So if the rocks are sandstone, you know, pure sandstone, so 30 percent porosity will be obtained where? You can see somewhere around you might have subtracted this graph around 7,000 feet below. 7,000 feet means how many kilometer? Around 2.5 to 3 kilometer. 2.5 kilometer. So if there is sandstone, 2.5 kilometer level, 30 percent porosity will be out. If it is sand, if it is sand, it will be somewhere around 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet means 300 to 400 meter. So follow this point, na? This graph also I have given. So those who have not attended yesterday's class, I will again pass on. Okay. So, what does it mean, you know? Just close it, woman.
to this density inversion. takes place at P to 400 400 meter in case of cell or at a greater depth you know maybe 2 to 3 kilometer in case of sandstone you understood this point man? So for sandstone you need a deeper barrier. Whereas for sand, lower barrier also you can obtain this inversion. And suppose you have a salt bed here, salt bed, and you have only sand. Sand. This is salt. So at 300 meter, this becomes lighter. You don't understand this part, na? But if for sandstone, you have to have very thick <coughs> sandstone bed, you know, and then sand. This inversion will take place. Inversion you understood now, right? Density inversion. So that means you need a greater barrier for sandstone. But sand is very lower barrier. Then this salt will appear a tendency to go up, float. So, I told you how the salt beds are related to the petroleum. So you put the same salt association, you know. That is a nice place, fine place for oil occurrence. But that is not true in nature. No? You will have always, you know, sandstone, limestone, all these reputations. So generally what people take, you know, around 1 to 2 kilometer, 1 to 2 kilometer view here. It's a good depth, you know for this density index. So you have everything together. Sandstone, say, limestone. So if you take a sequence of such thing, you know, say, sandstone, limestone, you know, then one to two kilometers. Don't go to three to four kilometers for pure sandstone, nor very shallow for sand. It is something intermediate between these two. So around one to two kilometer depth, this inversion takes place. So if salt is buried, to a depth of 1 to 2 kilometers, it will start to get a tendency to come up. It, will, it cannot stay below now because it is now lighter. It becomes lighter compared to the overburden. Overburden becomes heavy. Understood this part, na? So, this is called density inversion. Right? Yesterday I show you some photographs. Na. So definitely the answer will be British. But in fact, you know, salt is ductile. How it is ductile? I will tell you. Salt, the dominant property is ductility. It is something like this. You know. First, it is lighter. That is one property. Specific gravity is less or density is less. Second, it is ductile. How it is ductile? Now, suppose. There is a salt bed, you know, and you hammer it. It will break just like a brittle material. Go and hammer it, small, small chips will come out, you know. Small, small chips will come out. <coughs> we have like brittle material. But you sit over it, you know, you sit over it for one day. You have gone few centimeters below it. You understand this part. So what is the property of the material? But if you go and put your head like this, you know, definitely you will take your head. But you sit over it for a day, even you will find you have gone once in two That is the material, you know. So just at normal condition, you know, normal condition I will tell you. It is brittle. You can hammer it. You can hammer it on the surface, you know. So, 
it is breathing. But if you put a load for some time, you put a load over it, you know, for some time, you behave as it of time. It will start flowing. So क्या करता है जहाँ salt mine है, salt mine में ऐसे brittle होगा right कहना डूब जाता है। So they are digging it out now with bulldozer or some some other machinery. It is brittle. So they form a small mine. So what do they what do they do? They put this dumb materials. What is the dumb material? Waste. So with other construction materials they brought and dump it in the mine. Which is heavier. So gradually what will happen? The salt will start flowing away because of this load. See? So but this is a salt mine. You know? These are all salt, huh? These are salt. From here the salt has been removed. Then you put the waste materials. Suppose construction material, bagar banate hain, construction material. Koi waste product hai. You just put it here in this mine, you know. So what will happen, you know? This salt will gradually, you know, start flowing this side, this side. Not in one day. Gradually it will flow because this is doctoring. But when you are mining it, it is brittle. It requires certain strength to break it. But if you keep a load over it for say, say few days or few or a month, you know, gradually salt from this place will start flowing, you know. So you can dump more and more material. That excavation, that cavity, you know, will become larger and larger. Because this lateral flow of the lateral flow. You don't understand this part, na? So this works as a good repository or depository, whatever you say, of dumb material or dumb waste material. Because of this ductility, ductility, you don't understand. It is not normal stage. It is not ductile. Just like ice, you know. है वो स्कीडेड होगा आइस आइस के ऊपर कैसे स्कीड करते हैं आप ये हमने डॉन इट ना इट्स वास फ्लैट वेरी हार्ड बट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट रोलिंग यू नो दैट ब्लेड इट पुट्स सम प्रेशर यू नो ऑन सम लोड फिर स्टार्ट मेल्टी बिकम सॉफ्ट यू नो सम बीए फिर जब तक ही मटेरियल सी में सम हार्ड इन नेवर का � no fall from the top. That's when they start sliding down, you know. Gives like a ductile material. It doesn't roll over. So, the earthquake was now in Nepal, Kathmandu. The big avalanche took place in the Everest, you know. So, the material was in roll down. As a mass, you know, it starts moving down. So, below, you know, certain depth of the ice seals, certain depth becomes ductile. Because of the gravity, load. Headed to the flat surface, as usual, you know, earlier, or in low inclined surface, the sliding will not happen. So because there was an earthquake, you know, some tilting happened, so gravity was there. So as a 2-3 meter below, that surface becomes ductile. So it starts rolling down, you know, like sliding down. That is how the avalanche took place. So snow is brittle, but behaves as a ductile material in that situation. Salt is a material just like that. So salt is always as if it is a ductile material. So you eat, you know, salt as a pretty substance. It is a ductile material. Now, I will tell you something. Yeah? So, so it is density inversion in one property. Second is ductile. Ductile. Hold on now. Up to most of the red structural geology in MSC class. I will just slightly browse through it. So, in my study. Suppose you have a solid material like a cube. Cube like this. Understood now? Now, you put 